Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. All right, so let's see where we left off yesterday was we were working on Astral Sorcery. We'll continue on with that. I made some slight changes, like 10 minutes worth of, like I, I added, uh, the uh, arcane stone to the ends because this came out a little bit because of the redstone not working properly. Uh, I made a couple of extra endo flames that are working. They're all burning. Uh, from time to time they won't take uh, fuels, which is kind of weird. Uh, but from what I've read, if you log in and log out, it starts working again. So like I just took a couple uh, I guess maybe sometimes they fall and they don't render, I'm not sure. But I've been running into this problem where only like two of them will light. So it's kind of frustrating, but uh, I'll let y'all know how I end up fixing that on a later date. Uh, it's not that important because even with two running, I have this area chunk loaded and I let this run during the day. So when I came home, uh, three stacks of coal, three stacks of blocks of coal were used while I was work at work, so this should be have a lot of mana in it right now, more than what we need to do the episode probably. Uh, and then yeah, I changed the the uh, the dirt to grass because it wasn't growing grass, and I was hoping when it rained it would just grow the grass. But I decided to put uh, grass down, and I put some of the mystical f uh, petals in the ground just to make it sparkle, so that it has. A little bit more of an effect but you know I'm gonna be updating this over and over and over again so it's it's gonna slowly grow with the episodes uh, I also planted my great wood saplings that I had and let them grow down here so that it looks a little bit more life lively you know like uh, I like to pretend that because I am working here with all these nature elements that it's causing the desert to grow trees. So I'm adding a little bit of extra story to it for fun for myself. Also down here, uh, I built a, uh, a room around this. I put slabs on top so monsters can't spawn and it's too high for monsters to be able to climb up and fall in. And I torched off the bottom uh, all of these, of course, are going, uh, like the starlight is spread apart, uh, it's making star metal, I can replace these and put iron, but what I'm planning on doing is uh, learning more about golems in uh, Thumbcraft, and I'm going to try to see if I can make golems do an automatic star metal farm, so I think that'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, also, I want to see if I can make golems do automatic uh, living rock and living wood for me as well. Maybe even uh, uh, the maybe the golems can even switch out uh, the this little dropper thingy that I have for the, the the coal. Maybe I can figure out how to make golems take and throw coal, uh, but I might be too excited about golems because I've heard they're really really buggy but let's I put some new things on uh, on the the hot bar because I really want to build this the celestial altar and I noticed that it requires reinforced slates which require the blood altar from blood magic uh, so yeah we got to do the uh, the gate to blood magic so I'll do that one real quick we need enchanted fabric mana steel and a redstone root. So let's teleport back to the sorting facility real quick. And um, let's see if we can make uh, the items required real quick. So I don't have any grass in here, really? I thought I was using shears like crazy the other day. Shears, so we'll grab some shears and we'll grab some, some grass real quick. <clears throat> What's really frustrating is uh, I updated the mod pack and when I came back, all of my hippogriff were flying around. Uh, uh, that sucks. All, like, all of the hippogriff were gone. They flew away. Three of them flew away. 
Two got stuck in the walls and just immediately started dying on me. And I rescued Trin's hippogriff and put it down. But it looks like that hippogriff is 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 long gone as well. So we lost all of our hippogriff. Uh, let's see. We It looks like we still have... I think we... Yeah, we still have all three of our hippocampi. That's still good. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Questing Ram is still stuck in the stairwell. I don't know why he keeps gravitating towards that stairwell to get stuck, but... Yeah, frustrating. Let's vein mine. Vein mine some grass. There we go. And let's go back to the sorting facility. And let's make a redstone root. That's what I needed. Let's grab some mana steel while we're here. Grab a stack of mana steel and let's head over to Thumbcraft. Thumbcraft has my uh, enchanted fabric. In the small storage crate, we have. Let me grab this pedestal while we're here. That's required. Uh, I also, ha yeah. Let me grab this thomium block. That's required. I have enchanted fabric here. Uh, let's grab these brass plates. I think that was part of it as well, right? Not the ritual pedestal. The celestial altar. So rudimentary snares, we should be able to make those. Uh, blood altar, glass lens, brass plates. Yeah, we needed two brass plates. And Twitch chat, Coot, you're back. How are you? Glad you're back. Uh, let's see. Celestial altar, yeah. Blood altar, we only need two of the brass plates, but I'm going to bring them all. No, nah, let me bring half. And let's go back to Astral. And let's see. I need Snare to open up the gate. There we go. So we have the gate now open. Uh, let me... Yep, now with A we can get rid of that one. We got Snares and we have the gate open to Blood Magic. Gate. Blood magic. Nice, we get two blank slates and 32 living rock. That's a good reward, I like that. Cool, so like when we get to mystical agriculture and do this infusion crystal, uh, we'll be able to unlock bragging rights. I'm really stoked for that. Because we're everything that I'm doing right now is working towards this master infusion crystal. I want to make this, but to make the Master Infusion Crystal, I have to make all of this. So next up is the Blood Altar, Furnace, Glass Lens, Demonic Will, so we'll have to use the Snare to get that. Let me drop some of this stuff off while I'm here. Uh, and let's see if I can use the Snare uh, properly, because I've never, I have not even touched Blood Magic, so I don't, I... This is all new to me. That those are flowers. I thought that was a mob for a second there. Let's see, where are y'all? I know there's some creepers nearby, right? Creepers spawn during the day, I'm pretty sure. Or spiders, with spiders. Whoa. So we got a dead dragon over here, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Oh, he's big too. Still have yet to find a any ice dragons in this in this run there's a cockatrice does that count as a hostile mob I don't, uh, nah I don't want to risk it try to find a vanilla mob for this come on they're all underground I guess At least it's sunset. They should be popping out real soon. Let's see. If I can find any before the sun sets. If only we could tag like cows and stuff. <laughs> Demonic will from a cow, right? <laughs> Let me grab this while I'm here. It still kind of agitates me that I haven't I can't find the constellations. 
There is nothing here, there is nothing here, but grabbing it should give me a new constellation, right? Like, I can't, I don't know why, it won't give me any new constellations. So frustrating. Glass pane. I'll just put you there. And I'll take you. I want that. Okay. Mobs should start spawning now. Let's go, there we go. See if I can make this work. Hit him. Hit him. It'll be noticeable, I think. Do it can I hit the same mob more than once though? I don't know. I don't wanna risk wasting these things. How about you? No? How about you? Ugh, did I lose a wasted one? There we go. Bam. Give me your demonic will. While well, you all shoot at each other. Let's see if I can get another one. Let me see, does it work on the same mob? Doesn't look like it works on the same mob. But I got the one that I need. So let's see, now we can make the blood altar. Blood. Blood altar. Yay. Cool. Oh, and then let me check blood magic. Yep. Oh, I can grab the book. I'll read that off camera. The magic mod center around gaining power from sacrifice. I know you can stab yourself a whole bunch for blood. Cool. And then we got the snare. We got the snares and a demonic will. I thought for a second there it was going to give me a demonic will. <laughs> okay, so we got a uh, demonic will and snare. Cool. And then, yeah, we should have the blood altar now. The tier 6 altar, although not implemented yet, is 23 by 9 by 23. Wow. Okay. Inspectorus scandalum okay and that's I know I needed to make that so here's the blood altar and hmm, where should I put the blood altar for now I'll just put the blood altar over here on the on this grass oh because there's a petal there it put it up in the air Put you down, right there. All right, and then uh, what I need to do, see like, that's frustrating, that, that doesn't work. Uh, I'll put those two away, I'll put that away. <clears throat> and then I'll ditch that one, and I'll put these two up. There and there. Just to do the, do its thing while I'm working. Let's see. So I need, I can get rid of this one now, and I need to make reinforced slate, which is dropping blank slates into it with blood. And let's see, I need what? I need a sacrificial dagger. Sacrificial dagger so that I can fill it with my own blood. And let's see if how hard it is to make that. Sacrificial dagger. A soul scribe. From Batania. Alchemical brass. And mana glass. Soul scribe is a mana pearl, mana steel. Living wood twig. So I need... Oh wait, I don't need to exit out of that. I can just do this, right? That and then this and then I'm missing one alchemical brass and mana glass so let's see I have glass in here right mana glass panes that's why and no glass let me grab the glass and let's see toss you in there
Nice. So I have the mana glass, and then I need to go back to Thumbcraft and grab some alchemical brass. I'll grab some, I'll grab half, and then go back to Astral. And let's make this dagger so I can stabby stab. All right, and then, yeah, Potion of Regeneration. And Yeet. Mm, that's not how it works. Okay. Am I bleeding? How much blood does it need? Okay, 33. Oh, it evaporates. Whoop. I put it back in there. Okay, the, oh, and I need the slate. I put them in here, right? Yeah, blank slates. And do I just throw them? Or do I have to click them? Is that right? Doesn't look like I'm doing it right. Blank slate. Doesn't look like it's letting me drop it. Shift click. Feels like it should work like that. Maybe they require more blood. Six thousand. Let's see. Get rid of the sacrificial dagger, celestial altar, reinforced slate. Tier two. Uh, wait, tier two blood. Does that mean tier two blood altar? Tier tier one makes blanks. Oh, do I need to go to tier two? I did not read that. Let's see if this works with uh, the the stone then. So I can see if this is done right. To me, it look it looks like it's draining faster. Okay, yeah. So, ah, uh, man. So yeah, I did not see the fine print there. I need to make a tier two altar first. Let's see. So I need a tier two. Okay, I can do this. Let's see. Just gotta roll with it. We got a loot chest. Blood altar tier two. Blank rune. So let's see, blank rune. Okay, so I need a bunch of this. And then I need blood orbs, which is a mana diamond in a tier one. Do I have any mana diamonds in here? Nope, but I'll make one. Let's chuck you over here. And I missed. And it, oh, really? Didn't know that I had some of them in here in my dank and well i just threw that in the way in the way in the wrong direction okay third try is a charm and let's put this in there before the blood evaporates which doesn't make any sense to me there and that should turn into a weak blood orb boom Thank you. Weak blood orb, and then we need. So we need blank rune. We need. We got weak blood orb. Okay. We need eight. So we we do need eight weak blood orbs. So let me grab seven more. Really?
Grab seven more. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, it should have a lot more in there because it ate all of the coal that I put last time. See, like, I don't know why it's not doing this all the time. There, two. Whoop. Wonder if, if putting these petals here for aesthetic reasons is causing a conflict. And I know when I put these back down, they'll work. Let's see what's in the loot chest. An expander vertical. Do you even lift? <laughs> I'll put the expander away. All of the endo flames are lit. Put you up there. And then, uh, so we're going to need a lot of blank slate and a lot of weak blood orbs. Let's see. Whoop. We got a weak blood orb and we have a blank slate. And let's see, we got frosted donuts and a maho door. It's not quite a mahogany door, but still works. All right, so we're going to need a lot more of these runes. Okay. There we go. Sacrificial dagger. Ooh, it took a lot more damage towards the end there. Let's see, we got four. That makes two. Okay, we got eight, that makes four. I really need some instant, instant life foods for this. All right, the mana diamonds. Really? Let's see, a wand of the forest. Connected. Connected, connected. Connected. It's connected. They're connected and Mana spreader. See, I don't know. Does that full green mean that it's full? How often does it send out the pulse? See, I don't know which one of these bars means how full they are. Is this thing full and it's not firing? Huh. 
I don't know, because I thought that's what the Pulse Mana Spreader uh, does it. Like, uh, automatically. Let's see, put the Wand of the Forest back. And, man, this, I need to get some instant life going. Or wait, let me see if, if I do Dagger of Sacrifice. Dagger of Sacrifice can be used to sacrifice mobs near your blood altar. The amount of blood you get depends on the mob. Okay, so then I would have to have mobs up here. Divination Sigil. The Sigil lets you see more detailed information about the Blood Altar. Dagger of Sacrifice. Sounds great. I wonder if I could make a mob duplicator with a villager and then uh, have uh, a mechanical user use this dagger of sacrifice for uh, for blood. <laughs> All right. So we need blank runes. So we need eight of these. So we need sixteen of the blank slates. And then we need eight of the blood orbs. Did I ditch the blood orb in here? Yeah. And then I got that. And checking that. Blank rune. Eight. Okay. Let me check the 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 book real quick for one thing. Rituals. Altar. The blood altar. Upgrading your altar. Shaped crafting. Okay. As you go through the mod, you'll slowly learn that the humble blood altar before you is not powerful enough for you to fulfill your true ambitions. By placing special blocks known as blood runes around the altar, you are able to expand the altar's strength significantly, unlocking higher tiers of recipes, as well as allowing you to augment the abilities of the altar. To upgrade to the second tier, you need to place eight blood runes around the altar and one level lower. Okay. If you're confused about the precise, the item inspector is scandal and tell you the precise placement of the blocks required for the next tier. Although a blank rune is fine for simply getting your altar upgrade and running to a higher tier, it is advantageous to just to use upgrade runes for your altar. Each of the runes in the blood altar may be swapped out for any upgrade rune. The only exception to this tier two you cannot use corner runes as upgrade runes. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a, a mod spotlight on uh, on blood magic because I thought I just had to make the first tier to make the two items needed to progress in uh, in uh, astral sorcery. So. Let me see. And so it's any rune. Rune of self-sacrifice. What does that do? Rune of self-sacrifice. Reinforced slate. So I won't be able to make that until I have a tier two. Okay. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to make uh, enough materials enough materials with blood to make uh, what I need for eight blank runes. And then uh, when I put that together, then we can make the two, re the two reinforced runes that are required for the Celestial Altar. And then uh, we can upgrade the Celestial Altar to Starlight. 
because when it's upgraded to starlight we can start working towards making the master infusion crystal so this is d-day thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow